Okay, now let's look at number eight. We're continuing from uh, course one through seven. Now, one thing we wanted to take heed to is for you all to notice. We noticed, of course, as far as the video, that five, six, and seven was kind of cut off as far as the actual pictured graph that we typically have on here. But it's okay because we also, it just so happened we had to draw a histogram so you will definitely have all the actual numbers that you missed of course from the actual graph just wanted to make a, a statement on that and all should be well okay great uh, let's go of course to number eight we're at number eight I love it so we're gonna look and take a note of this right here now it says uh, weights the weights in ounces of nine packages are seven twenty two 16, 12, 6, 18, 15, 13, and 25. Make a stem and leaf plot of the data. Describe the distribution of the actual data. All right, let's do this. First of all, let's make that wonderful plot. And we did this before, of course, as far as number uh, 8. Well, we did it, of course, for other ones, but we know how to do a plot for a stem and a leaf correct you got it great okay so how do we start with this we start of course with the lowest number for the stems as we know the stems are always in the 10 spots or the 10 places if you want to say that or the 10 place if you want to say it that way okay so we start with zero that lets us know that we may have some single digit numbers we also have number one and then number two why are we doing that because the highest number is in the 20s so we already have the two right there okay so we know the stem do we uh, the stem of course starts with zero so we know we're gonna have some single digit numbers what are those single digit numbers of course the first one is number six the other is seven make that seven a little better now we're gonna have the tens and we have of course 12 13 15 16 and what else you got it 18 now we're going of course to the 20s and we have in the 20s we have 22 and we also have 20 looks like 25 fantastic that's really really good and it says of course as we look at this most of the data is in the middle it says describe the distribution of the data and most of the data is in the middle why do we say that of course because it's in the tens all right so most of the data remember this now is in the tens and I know you all got that right you all are doing great you're smoking hot right now and that's really good you got all of them right I'm really impressed with you all keep up the great work okay let's look at number nine and let's get that one going real quick number nine and the first one says first of all let's read the question rebounds the histogram shows the number of rebounds per game for a middle school basketball player this system or excuse me this season which interval contains the most data values okay so if we're looking at this actual graph right now we can see it it looks like this represents the frequency so in games two and three this person has six rebounds okay so we talk about frequency that is the highest particular number so if we look at this right now we would say which interval contains the most data values we see the highest frequency is six so we know this person in games two and three had six rebounds so that right there would have the most data as compared to zero to one game or one game three rebounds and from four to five games they had uh, of course two rebounds and six and seven 
they had of course one so for number a the answer is that is uh, two and three which is games two and three that they had the most so two and three games okay they had the most and go from there and it's right here as you can see now it says B how many games did the player play this season let's look at this as far as B so let's take a look at it and we're looking at this right now how many games did they play as far as the actual frequency we're looking at it right now they played a total here this represents the rebound these this represents basically the frequency or the games so we are looking at three games we're looking at three plus six is nine they had two games right here and so we're saying nine plus two is what you got it 11 they had one game right here so in that one game right there we're looking at wow excellent a total of 12 so if we add all these up you have 12 games okay all right and let's take a look at this other one right here it says uh, what percentage of games did the player have four or more rebounds number C four or more rebounds let's break this down first of all four more so we're looking at rebounds right here four and five okay so right now they have between four and five and at least two games and six and seven woo incredible incredible as far as that so we're looking at um they had one for that one right there so if we add everything up as far as rebounds with at least four more in a game we have two right here and then we have one right here which is a total of three how many total games did they basically play they played a total of what you got it they played a total of 12 games so all we're gonna do real real simple I'm just gonna break this down real simple three goes into 12 okay it was three games that they had why do we say that three games they had four more rebounds okay so we know that goes into it of course what four times okay so we know that's a four right there I just break it down very and keep it very 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 simple okay so if we break this down and I'm gonna break this down in a very simple way for you okay let's break down four four goes in or excuse me three goes into 12 how many times four times so if it goes into it four times that basically means three is what kind of percentage in reference to 12 very very simple as far as if I put a three here I'm gonna do it four times three 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 okay if we look at that we can break this down this is in a group of four now we know three plus three equals six six plus three equals nine nine plus three equals twelve if we break this down we know that three is what twenty five percent of twelve so your answer is twenty five percent very 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 simple okay how do we come up with that because if we did 25 and then add this the 25 as far as percentage is concerned we get 50 percent if we added another 25 percent right here we get 75 percent we add another one we get a hundred percent so we know three goes into this of course the 12 four times that gives us 25 percent okay very very simple all right good job okay let's take a look at number 10 stage crew the stem and leaf plot shows the number of hours 11 stage crew members spent building sets 
find the mean, the median, the mode, the range. Mm, excuse me. And the interquartile of the data. Okay? So let's take a look at this real quick and go from there. All right, so we have the actual question. Let's take a look at this right now and go from there. So let's see, number 10, let me put this right here. And let's find, of course, the actual mean. And we are very familiar with the actual mean. And we're looking at, we know all these actual numbers. We add everything together. It's going to equal 132. I know you all already know how to do that. So you can do that, of course, on your own. But it equals 132. Okay? So what I'm going to do, excuse me, Put the 132 right there, and we have a total of 11 numbers, okay? 11 numbers, so that means it's going to give us a total of 11 right there. And then now we are going to, of course, divide that into 132, and we come up with what? You got it, 12. So that basically means right now that the actual mean is what? it is 12 so the mean equals 12 good job as far as that now let's take a look at the actual median we know if we have all these up right now and we're saying the median is we're gonna take a look at all this let's see what our actual median is very very quickly the median for this is hold up one second Okay, let's take a look at this. As far as the actual median, the median is what? So let's get this going real quick. The median equals, let's count these numbers, 6, 8, twice. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we know we have 11 numbers. So what is the middle one? What is the median? Of course, it is 11. So that's where we're at. Right in the middle is 11. So our median is 11. All right. Now, what is our mode? Our mode. I'm sorry about that. There we go. Our mode equals in fact, I'll erase this so I can write it a little bit better for you all. Let me get this out of here, a little bit out of it. I'll get the median out right now, and I'll get all of this out of your way. Okay, and I'll get a little bit out of here, and I'll go back to that so you'll know what it is. But the mode is... equal to what? It's the numbers that we have the most and that is 8. We had two 8's in it so we know our mode is 8. Good job. Now let's find our actual range. What is our range? What is a range? Now what is our highest number? Our highest number for this, of course, is what? You got it, 20. The highest number we have is 20. What is our lowest number? Our lowest number is 6. So if you look at 6, which is our lowest number, and we look at 20, which is our highest number, What we would come up with, let me make that H a little bit better. Ah, there we go. If we counted between those actual numbers, we would come up with what? 
you got it 14 so what we're going to do is subtract okay let's do this real real quick we're going to subtract 6 from 20 and what do you come up with 14 so our range you got it is 14 way to go our range is 14 I love it all right let's take a look at this right quick as we can see the we look at the inner quartile if we look at the inner quartile right now we can see something and I'm gonna go over this with you real quick the inner quartile the first inner quartile of course is 8 all right and that's the first uh, quartile I should say not inner quartile but the uh, the court the first quartile is 8 all right so we have the first one is 8 Let me write that down eight and we already know of course and the third quartile of course is 17 those are in the middle once we find uh, the actual uh, median and you would find eight is the middle of the actual between 6 and 11 and between 11 and 20 it's 17 as far as that so that's how we come up with that actual number okay so the third quartile is 17. Now, what is, of course, the second, which is the middle, which, of course, is 11, which is the actual median. That's how we came up with that. But now we want to find the actual inner quartile. Okay? So if we find, or to find the inner quartile, we don't need the middle we don't need the median the median number which is 11 so all we need is of course the first quartile and the third quartile the beginning and of course the end of the actual quartile that's how we come up with that and this will give us our actual numbers okay so we look at this right here inner quartile very very simple what we do is just subtract 8 from of course 17 the 8 represents the first quartile the 17 represents the third quartile and what is our actual answer you got it the answer for the interquartile range is 9 the interquartile range is 9 okay that's what we have as far as the interquartile range it is 9 I'll put that right there so you'll know inner quartile range is 9 good job you all fantastic you all got them all right I am really truly impressed with that fantastic